Here's a complete guide to subway taking in Seoul, so you never get lost. First, you'll need to know which line to take. Note that Google Maps doesn't work well in South Korea, but three other apps can be used, Kakao Metro, Kakao Map, and Naver Map. Even though the first two are most useful for people who can read Korean, Kakao Metro allows you to see the subway map at all times, which is very practical. For those who can't read Korean, our best pick would be Naver Map as every direction and station is written in Roman letters. The last two apps work similarly to Google Maps, so you shouldn't be too lost. Next, you'll need to purchase a ticket or a transportation card. Transportation cards can be bought in every convenience stores or in vending machines at some subway stations. These cards are often branded as T-Money or Cash B cards. You can recharge your card directly at the convenience store using cash or credit card. But it is also possible to load it up using cash on specific machines present at every subway stations. These machines can also be used to purchase single-ride tickets if you don't want to get a transportation card. When arriving at the subway station, you'll have to pass through the gates with your ticket or card. Then, you'll often be confronted to this type of view. Signs will be present above your head to guide you to the correct track. You'll also often find maps indicating the direction you should take to get to certain stations. Once on the train track, check out what's written above the subway doors. In the middle, you'll see the name of the station you're currently in. What's important is that the next station matches the one that's indicated in your guide app. If it does, you're on the right track. To know when your subway will be arriving, look at the signs above you, you'll see a small drawing of a wagon letting you know where the subway currently is. The last station is the one you're at. Note that some lines have a lot of different directions. For these lines, you'll often run into this type of signs. These can be very confusing if you don't speak Korean, but don't you worry. They're actually easy to understand. On the first row, you'll see the direction the next subways are going to. Check your app to know which one you should take. On this row, the type of train is also sometimes written in green or red after the direction name to specify that it's an express train. Be careful not to take them if your app tells you not to, or you'll miss your stop. The second row is where the subway currently is. The last row is its situation, so whether it's arriving to or departing from the station. Once you're at your stop, you might need to transfer to another line to get to your final destination. You just need to follow the signs. As for exits, your map app will often tell you which exit to take to get to a certain place, so follow the signs as well. Follow for more.